police were called to a shooting at the residence behind me here. When officers arrived, they located a male who was suffering from an apparent gunshot wound. That male was taken to hospital in serious condition. That person was working apparently as a security guard at the residence. He was standing outside of the gates in front of the residence when the shooting occurred. We have uh, individuals who obviously performed the shooting who were seen in a vehicle. I do not have a description of the vehicle or the suspects at this time. Again, it's very early on in the investigation. There's rumors going on that there's money on Drake head. The rapper Drake head, yeah, Drake. At first, I didn't know if this was real because I've been hearing the rap disses. I'm like, okay, hip hop is dying now. These artists have figured out a way to kind of bring hip hop back through these diss raps. They seem to buzz that Chicago generated from it. So maybe the industry doing the same thing. But somebody was shot in the chest. You know, this is a whole nother level at Drake Mansion in front of the door, drive by. Drive by, you don't know who the fuck outside that bitch. You don't know, it's rumors that it's money on Drake head. A motherfucker dropped a bag on him and that them gunmen came in there looking for him. He on the hit list. Hit the like button, we finna talk about this. Goal on this video, 2000 likes. You know, I'm finna tell you what the streets is in. Me personally, I think it's kinda early. You don't know what went on. That bodyguard could have been arguing with a motherfucker outside. This could have been a personal dispute. This could have been anything. But since don't nobody know, rumors are speculating. One thing I can tell you, a drive-by and shooting, a car, a gun, it's just something about that that dispels gang violence, get back, uh, somebody trying to get you, you know? Normally when it's a car involved, that'd be gang violence. That's retaliation, you know? so. We don't know where Drake was involved in, but that's in Toronto. So, you know, Drake don't always be in Toronto. So maybe that involves somebody who be at his mansion or whatever the fuck. But since them disc records drop, a lot of people pointing towards that. So make sure y'all hit the like button on this. You know, I heard the disc records. For a while, I thought this shit was fake, but then I started hearing shit about pedophiles. You know, bringing up video clips of Drake talking to young people. I said, this shit feel kind of real now. This shit, motherfucker's taking this shit personal now. Now that's the motherfucker got blicked up in front of Drake Mansion. For a motherfucker to take that risk, come on, man. It's 2 o'clock in the morning. This ain't daytime. It's 2 o'clock in the morning, which means that feel like it was planned out. You get what the fuck I'm saying? Then a motherfucker go there and blick a motherfucker. Now, I don't know if this some internet hype shit. I don't know if this was a graze wound motherfucker trying to go viral trending. But when the police started doing talks about this shit, saying that Drake and them cooperating and shit and all kind of shit like that, that kind of feels like this shit can be real, you know? Gang violence. Now, I'm not saying it is what it is, but it kind of feel like a motherfucker done dropped a bag on a motherfucker, man. And, and, and that shit didn't reach out to the state, you know? I don't know. I don't want to start no speculation because remember, this shit happened in another country. So it's all kind of shit going on. You know, this was a bodyguard of Drake. They say he was standing in front of the mansion door when this shit happened, you know, early in the morning. So I don't know what kind of parties and shit Drake and them got going on at that mansion that early in the morning. But this just feels like, you know, maybe somebody sent them there. Now, a lot of people speculating, you know, this happened a couple of days after Kendrick dropped his disc record and shit. People pointing at Kendrick, I don't know. But you know, Kendrick do come from a gang influence culture, a gang influence area. A lot of people don't take these disc records serious. Or a lot of people don't take these disc records as a joke. You know, so I don't know. I'm not pointing at Kendrick. Kendrick don't look like no motherfucker who will do no shit like that. But you do got crazy fans who take this shit strong and take this shit wild too. There's been a lot of strong distance towards Drake. I don't know. I don't know if this is an overzealous fan. I don't know if Drake got shit going on in Toronto. If some of the people he be around, bodyguards, whoever. But uh, something happened at his mansion today. Uh, where it was a shooting last night today. It's one of those times. Shit been viral all over the internet. When the AP Associated Press released uh, this story, that got to be real. That's one of the most respected news journalists you know, platforms that's out, that shit respected like CNN. So when they report on it, it kind of feels like this real. You know, this don't feel like no fake shit once AP, you know, report on this shit, like truth report on this shit. But uh, I wanted to bring to your attention, it's rumors that a motherfucker dropped that bag, put that bag on his motherfucking head and shit, this shit could be dangerous. I'm gonna tell you this though. If this real and this wasn't no fake shit and this wasn't no graze and no shit like this, 
somebody could have been killed, you know, and if that's Drake Mansion, we see videos of Drake. If that's his shit, we see videos of Drake uh, going viral, being outside in his court, in his, inside in his court, outside his mansion and shit. That could have been Drake, you know. Drake could have lost his life today if he was in that mansion outside. I don't think people realize that, man. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, it's telling me true. Blech.